How's it going, everybody? Poser Mobile here, bringing you an absolute banger list of games coming to PS Plus Extra and Premium starting on May 29th. Starting off, we've got a game which I've been wanting to buy for a while now, so I'm pretty happy we're getting it through PS Plus. Dredge, a weird Lovecraftian horror game where you're the captain of a fishing trawler trying to dredge the depths for treasure, and this will be out today. To all my boys out there in Relia, Cthulhu Photogon. Trophy-wise, it's a pretty simple one. After you finish the main story, you can go back and keep playing, so you're only looking at one real playthrough, a three-ish for difficulty, and around 20 hours to finish. Next up, we've got LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2, and this will be available starting May 31st. If you played any of the LEGO games before, this isn't all that different from those. You're looking at essentially two full playthroughs to collect everything, a few trophies that require a second person or second controller, a four-ish for difficulty, which is tougher than usual, and it's one of the longer ones, clocking in at around 50 hours to finish everything. Next up, we've got Cricket 24, which I'm sure has all you Cricket Badgers out there hype, and this will be available starting June 5th. As an American, I know nothing of cricket, but watching John Boy's Ball and Play League has me intrigued. Not a whole lot of info going around for difficulty and time to finish this one, but considering the rarity and how long it's taken people to unlock the Platinum, I'd say around a 5 or 6 for difficulty and somewhere over 30 hours to finish, though that's probably much longer for an average player. Next up, we've got the remaster of GTA San Andreas, the Definitive Edition, and this will be available starting June 7th. I don't think it needs much introduction or explanation. I feel like everybody knows what GTA is like at this point. Trophy-wise, you're looking at around a 4-ish for difficulty and somewhere around 40 hours to finish. You have to play without cheats, by the way, so if you're going for the plat, make sure you steer clear of those until you're finished. All right, we've got three new PS2 classics coming to PS Plus Premium, and as usual, I have no idea whether they're going to get trophy lists or not, and these will be available starting June 11th. First, we've got 2006's Tomb Raider Legend, the seventh game in the series and the first real reboot. It's pretty well regarded, and it's made by the same people who made the newer series of Tomb Raider games like the 2013 reboot, Rise, and Shadow. Next, we've got 2002's Star Wars The Clone Wars. It's a lot of vehicle combat with Clone Wars era ships, and you've got a few missions in there as Anakin, Obi-Wan, and Mace Windu. It's rated as like a 7 out of 10, so don't expect this to be the best game you've ever played, but it's Star Wars and made by the people who made Destroy All Humans, the original Battlefront, and Mercenaries. Finally, we've got 2002's Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus. I missed the entirety of Sly Cooper growing up, so it'll be nice to give the first game in the series a shot. Now, before I leave you guys, I should also mention that they're adding five PSVR 2 games on June 6th. I have no intention of getting PSVR and therefore have no interest in these whatsoever, but I figured I'd let any of you who do have it know. So there you have it. This month's PS Plus Premium and Extra Games. I'm pretty excited about this month. It's got quite a few games I'll be going for the Platinum in. If I had to pick just one to get excited about, it's probably Dredge, since I've been looking forward to getting it eventually anyway. But let me know in the comments down below which games you'll be going for the Platinum in.